If you currently do podcasts or online streaming, or you simply want to record internal audio on Mac, especially the newer Macs that have M1 chips, then you are at the right place at the right time. In this video, we're going to review this virtual mixer by Ground Control called Caster Live. By end of the video, you're going to learn step by step how to record internal audio on Mac using a variety of apps such as QuickTime Player and OBS. And most importantly, you get to manipulate the audio however you want. Without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see here, here is Ground Control Caster Live app. They have a two different versions, the free and the paid. I'm gonna get into it just in a moment. Most importantly, this supports the M1 chip because I'm currently using a MacBook Pro 2021 M1 Max with a 64 gigs of RAM. And now this is really important to make sure it's M1 compatible. Basically, this is an all-in-one cable-free audio router for Mac. If I scroll a little bit down, so for the premium version, it comes with a few plugins. You can use it for your podcast or boost the quality of your audio scroll a little bit further down here's two different pricing options first one is completely free still packed with amazing features however if you want to unlock some other features such as source separation ground control devices hotkey midi control definitely want to check out one-time purchase of 49.99 you get to unlock everything and you get to own this app for life it also comes with a 14-day free trial no credit card required so basically there's nothing you get to lose once you land on this website you want to click on download on the top menu bar and you want to Choose the one you want to download. If you want to download a free version, choose the first one. If you want to purchase the live version, and go with the second button right there. In terms of installation, it's super simple. Basically, you download this PKG file. You want to double click on it. You want to open the installation file and you just click on continue, follow through the steps. Once you enter the right password, click on install software and you want to confirm that and that's it. And at the end, you want to restart your machine so your machine can recognize caster from this point and beyond. So once your computer is restarted, you should be able to see Caster app in your application folder. You want to fire up Caster and also pay attention to my volume control here. So if you want to use Caster features at any time, just click on your volume options. You want to click on Caster. That's all you need to do. Now let's quickly go through this interface so you know how to use this in and out. The first mixer here comes with four pages of sound effects. You can assign these to your MIDI keyboard or your stream deck and you can call this sound on demand. And in case you want to replace all this sound, you can choose the three dots and you can locate your own file, the audio file. You can assign the colors, you can assign the MIDI keyboard, you can even control the volume. In the middle, we have three different options. First option is adding an application to your mixer. Second option is adding a microphone. In case if you have a different podcast guest, you can include different microphone input here. Third option here is adding input tracks. Basically, here is my pre-assigned audio setups. I can basically call them on demand. To the right hand side, we have output options. So the first output here is the main output. It's called the Caster Stream Mix 1. Second one is headphone. In case you want to monitor your audio with headphones, turn on and off the monitor. It's super simple. Just click on this icon on and off. And that's how you monitor the audio. To the bottom here, we can actually record this session's audio. And if you choose the settings here, you can choose to different file such as WAV file or MP3. You can choose the quality of your audio, the resolution and recording plugin options and click on OK. To the right hand side, if you notice, we have six different toggle options. First one is a skin theme. We have a light mode and we have a dark mode or you can go with the system preferences. Basically at night, it will turn to dark mode and during the day, it will use the light mode and you can do different scaling such as 200% or to the bottom right corner, you can adjust that accordingly or manually. And third options here is a hot key. In case if you want to trigger certain features with your keyboard or MIDI keyboard, then you can go ahead and do so and assign certain hotkeys here and fourth one is midi setup and the fifth option here is always stay on top if you give that a pin this is going to be displayed all the way in the front so any application you opened caster app is always going to be floating in the front and the last option here is a ground control audio devices setup in case if you have different audio devices you can assign them or add device here also you can find some other settings options on the top left corner this menu option you can see there's scaling there's latency and whole bunch of other feature we just went through. You see the entire UI is a super easy to use, not complicated at all. 
So the next phase, let's test out Caster Live app and we're gonna put it into test and you'll be the judge of how powerful this app can be. On the left hand side, I open my web browser and I basically open a copyright free music so we can test it out all together. And now let's say we're in the scenario of we wanna record internal audio from this specific browser. All you want to do is since I'm using Brave Browser on the left, you wanna click on the drop down option and you wanna choose Brave Browser. If you use Chrome, just choose Chrome, Safari, choose Safari. And now look at what happens when I play the sound coming from my web browser. The Caster app has registered a sound, right? You can see Brave Browser will have a signal coming in. In the output option, you can see here is the main output. You can see that I'm using Scarlett audio interface. I can use this to monitor the audio by wearing that headphones over there. And now if I want to individually disable the monitor on certain tracks, and then I can click on this option, you can see I cannot monitor this audio, but the audio is still sending to the output. And then if I want to start stop this audio feed going into the main mix, then I can click on this option. The output is gone there, but we can still monitor the audio. So you see the sky's the limit. You have a tons and tons of options to play around with it. And then whenever you want to record this specific audio, you just click on this yellow button there. It will turn red. You can see right now we started recording this entire audio piece. I'm gonna give it a pause. Once you finish recording, it will turn to a folder icon. You can click on it. It will locate this specific folder. If I open this folder, interestingly, it gives me the entire mix in one track, or I also have a separate track. So in case you wanna manipulate audio in post. And now check this out. Because I only choose the input as a Brave browser, any input coming from the Brave, it will be registered. However, I have a video MP4 file in my download folder. If I open this with a QuickTime player, if I play this audio, Audio, you can see caster app is not registering the audio it is because we told the caster app only go pick up the sound from brave browser in this case you can add another application here you can see the drop down option says desktop audio if i give that a click you can see right now the caster app is picking up the desktop audio coming from this quicktime player as a file i'm playing on my desktop in this case i can record the sound coming from quicktime player video file i can also play this music in the brave browser you can see both tracks are being picked up. And also if you want to remove certain tracks, just click on this top left corner and you click on it once, it will remove that application. By default, we have to have at least one input here. And now let's do a slightly different setup to fit into different scenarios so you know how to use them accordingly. For example, if you do a podcast, you can insert different type of input here. Currently, I have this one mic hooked up with Scarlett audio interface. If I run a podcast right now, I have a two people back and forth. I can do mono input number one. One, I can sign to different icon here and different colors. If I have a second mic connected to my audio interface, then I just need to add another mic, choose Scarlett, USB, and then you can see mono, I choose number two. I can name this guest number two. Right now, we have a two different guest audio, right? Remember, right now, if I record this, and if I pause it, and if I come to the folder, right? Here's the second folder created. Remember, it gives me the main mix. It also gives me the separate audio. And this is really, really important because sometimes you want to record the mic from different guests so you can manipulate and edit the audio in post. And now what if I want to play some background music coming from Spotify app here? So what we can do here is the music either coming from the browser or Spotify app. So what we can do is choose this Brave browser and change it to Spotify. Once you have the app open, this drop down option will automatically appear. Right now, if I play the background music, it will be picked up right here. And let's say I don't want to play Spotify, I want to play some copyright free music, then you can switch back to Brave. And now the music will come from Brave browser. You don't want the background music to be uh, peaking and super loud. You always want to bring that level down. And now let's bring up OBS. You might be using OBS to do online streaming or recording a screen and so forth. Then I'm gonna show you guys how to integrate OBS with the Caster app here. It is really simple. You can see here, I created a new scene called it Caster Test. You wanna click on the plus sign. We wanna bring an audio input capture. And then let's just name this audio input Caster and click on OK. And now we want to choose the device. The last option here is a Caster Stream Mix number one. And now the input we give to OBS is going to be coming from this output output that's called a caster stream mix number one click on ok let's mute my mic here so the mic signal is not sending to the output you can see that i'm playing the music in the brave browser you can see that the music 
is ascending to OBS as caster audio input right here. I can adjust the volume if I bring the volume all the way down and look at what happens in the audio mix here. And it also brought the music volume down as well. That's pretty much it. An entire demonstration and tutorial on this brand new app called the Caster Live by Ground Control. And now questions back to you guys. What do you think about this entire app? Is it easy to use? And what feature do you like the most? And how would you use this in your day to day operation? And drop some comments below. I'd love to give them a read. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so you won't miss any future content I'm planning down the road. This is Tariel Sultan signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.